हेलो ऑल दिस इज राकेश तलरेजा एंड आई वेलकम यू टू बाईजूस एग्जाम प्रेप Yes, guys. Gate twenty three examination is over, and now is the time when students have started thinking about you know applying for PSUs or M Tech into several colleges. And when it comes to PG admissions, the dream college for most of the aspirants is Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. Yes, guys. Uh, now results are still awaited. We know, but by this time you must have come to know how you have performed and you are expecting a good rank in uh, the gate, good marks in gate. You can definitely be filling up the form. What is the last date to fill the form? Don't worry, it is after results only. Still, you can wait for the results if you want. But okay, whether you are going to face any interview, whether you are going to have any written examination or not. If yes, when is that? Okay, whether you are eligible, what is going to be the selection procedure? Depends on branch to branch. All the details I am going to bring you in this particular video. So just stay tuned for a few minutes with me. So let me first introduce you that what are going to cover first the announcement. By ISC Bangalore, then uh, I'll tell you what is the selection procedure, branch to branch. Uh, you know whether you have written or whether you have interview or what else you have. Okay, next is eligibility. Are you eligible to apply for ISC Bangalore? Next, we'll talk about MSc because if you are one of the student. Okay, perform decent, not that great. You know, getting ranks in the lower range. Still, you can get ISC by uh, you know applying into MSc courses. And yes, how to apply? What is the application fees? What is the last date? And not only last date. What are all the important dates? Okay, I am going to talk in this video. So this video is going to cover you every information you need regarding application to Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. Yes, guys. Number one, let's start uh, with the introduction. Yes, these are the several uh, programs that have been announced. Okay, uh, regularly every year it is announced. Okay, but uh, what is going to be more uh, interesting and more important for you is. Okay, so you might be first of all interested for M Tech. Yeah, if you have a lower rank, you can be interested in course program in science like MSc programs, or you can also opt for integrated PhD programs, M Tech plus PhD. Okay, and there are external registration programs, and also there are direct research programs like PhD or M Tech R M Tech. Research. Okay, so if you are willing, you can also directly apply for the PhD courses as well. So uh, the admissions for these regular courses have been open. Uh, the announcement has already been made by ISC back in twenty fourth of January only. Twenty fourth January. Okay, now let us come to the selection procedure. Very very important to know that whether. If the selection is only on gate score or some other element is there, so it really depends on branch. Let us first talk about the M Tech programs and yeah, have a look into this detail branch wise bifurcation. So yes, if you are one of the uh, you know students from the department of air, you are willing to apply for aerospace, chemical, civil, or materials engineering. Okay, let me highlight civil here because you know this is the known you know common branch. Okay. Yes, so for you guys, selection is only on the basis of gate score. No written interview, no additional test. Lucky enough. Okay, and if you have a good gate rank, you can directly take M Tech admission into civil engineering. Then, if I come to the other branches, especially highlighting electrical engineering, electronics and communication, that is EC. Okay, electronics, product design, the very very famous electronic system engineering and ISC Department of Electronic System Engineering. Okay, then we have micro electronics and VLSI design and signal processing. Okay, this has to be signal. Okay, I think there is a typo error here. No problem. It is understood by all of you. So for you guys, admission will be based on seventy percent gate score, thirty percent performance in an interview. Yes, a separate interview will be there whose weightage will be thirty percent. And don't worry, we will be definitely already there is a plan, and I shall definitely upload one video where I'll be giving you the guidance for M Tech interview. See guys, interview for M Tech has a different flavor. Interview for PSU has a different flavor. Interview for UP has altogether a different flavor. So it, every body have different cultures. So how in general you should be. Preparing for M Tech interview, be it IIT or IIT Bombay or IIT Delhi or any of the top IITs. Okay, I shall be posting a video on that so that you get some insights and you you know pace up your preparation for interview accordingly. Then, if you are from computer science or the you you still want to apply for a very 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 hot branch these days, that is artificial intelligence. Okay, your selection will be based on seventy percent gate score and thirty percent in written. Yes, there will be a written test element here. And if you want to apply to one more very Newly developed, emerging, okay, but the branch which is going to offer tremendous placement records in the future. Yes, that is the branch of data science, the computation and data science. For that, there will be, of course, seventy percent weightage to gate score, but there will be written as well as interview. Combined weightage is going to be thirty 
percentage okay so this is how the selection procedure is going to be so according to your branch you can highlight what uh, is applicable for you now eligibility are you eligible to uh, fill up the form let's have a look into the eligibility criteria yes guys so number one if you have completed your engineering if you are already holding a bachelor's degree okay in any of the fields of engineering i spoke earlier which is mentioned here also then definitely you need to have the valid gate score okay and as you know gate score is valid for three years now that means if somebody applied if somebody has cracked the gate already in 2021 he or she can also apply for isc admission in 2023 right so 2021 22 as well as 23 gate scores are most invited here if you are by chance in final year or final semester okay so can you apply yes you can also apply but you just have to ensure that uh, all the procedures like, uh, you know, be it uh, project submissions, be it vivas, be it practicals, be it final theory examination, all these examinations get over by 31st July, which 99.9% .9 will get over. Why this is so? Because IAC course programs will usually start from August. That is why you should be free from your bachelor's college by 31st of July, which is 99.9% .9 probable. Okay. And also, uh, you should be able to furnish your certificates, your passing certificates by 31st October as well. And that is also a sufficient time guys that is also a sufficient time okay now as you all know yes uh, you know you may be looking for an offer from IISC parallel you may be looking for an offer from IIT Bombay as well so you have to definitely apply to different colleges you have to pay the respective fees of the colleges okay but you know from several years you know there is a concept of co-app common offer acceptance portal yes which is a common platform for the candidates to make the most preferred choice into an admission yes there all i all iits or iisc will be you know putting their results okay putting their declaration of seats given to various students and then you can log into that portal and you can see which branch which college you're getting and if you want to freeze you can freeze or you can wait for the next round okay don't worry regarding to the co-app we will again bring up separate uh, session very important for you to know what co-app is and how to handle that particular platform although very simple only so a small informative video will bring you on that also so what is important here is all candidates will have to register onto this common portal okay and then you have to update your co-app registration number on your particular application all right so we'll bring you more details on this but just to add you that yes uh, you have to definitely fill up the isc form but on the other hand you have to also register onto the co-app website whether you want to apply for isc or iit bumbler or iit delhi or if you want to apply even for all of these colleges co-app everybody has to apply everybody has to apply okay small information for sponsored candidates as well yes iisc also invites candidates from several government organizations the people working in that they can also come up and you know uh, they can have a two years relaxation break from their job okay and complete their master's course uh, to enhance their knowledge to enhance their degrees okay and then again they can go back in the same organization like whether they are coming from bark or drd etc they can return there okay and then they'll also have an additional mtech certificate okay now uh, yeah, i i know I, even at my time when i was completing my masters there were people from isro one I, I also had one very very close friend of me uh, who joined iisc uh, ibre became friend when he joined iisc but he joined the isc from I, isro he already worked in service in isro for five and a half years he joined isc for two years and went back to isro till date also uh, is very senior level in ISRO right now. So uh, there are several departments mentioned here, DRDO, BARC, ISRO, NAL, etc, etc, etc. They can be applying for a course program under the sponsored category. They also have to compulsorily fill uh, the online application form and submit the printed version. Yes, these guys have to submit the printed versions in duplicate on or before the given particular date. Okay. So yes, guys, uh, now if, if you are one of them not getting the top rank, but you're getting they're going to get the rank expected somewhere at 700, 800, 1000. Also, you can get, uh, you know, some good branches in IASC, but through MSc program. Yes, you can apply to the MSc program. You may not get MTech program at the ranks of 7, 800, but yes, you can get the MSc program and the research culture in IASC is always the best. So if you are one of them interested towards research area, definitely you can apply to MSc and still there are good placement opportunities even after MSc or if you want more interest you are getting in research. So after MSc, you can convert, uh, you know, yourself to the PhD programs as well so just to give you an update about the msc programs this is what is the sg criteria but uh, you know most of the students watching this video may be be btech degree holders so if you are one of the student having the be or btech degree okay then uh, your validity for us uh, the uh, qualifying exam for us gate only you don't have to go for jam etc you have to be uh, qualified with the gate 
only okay regarding to the msc program the cutoffs the mtech cutoff msc cutoff both i'll be taking a separate session on that okay ye this video is about information on this particular year admissions how to apply and what are the important dates and eligibility criteria okay last year kitna cutoff tha kitna placement tha all those things i will be planning i'll uh, step by step i'll keep bringing videos to give you complete information about irc culture all right now how to apply very simple uh, just to apply you have to apply online only yes just open the website www.isc.ac.in go to uh, admission section and click apply offline fill up the form coming up do the required uh, formalities and your form gets filled the fees very nominal fees is there for general candidates for general or obc or ews candidates it is 800 for sc st pwd it is rupees 400 for erp extra, uh, external registration program it is uh, 2000 for sponsored candidate also it is rupees 800 this is a non-refundable fee and the payment options are uh, you know net banking debit card credit card any of them you can opt here the important very important dates for you to notice number one what is the last date the last date is 23rd of march yes, as i mentioned earlier also it is after the de declaration of results results are expected on 16th march but they can come one or two before as well okay 14th 15th march around we can expect the results okay so don't worry your last date for filling up the form is 23rd march let me also tell you that it has already been started by february 1st okay so if you are sure that yes uh, you are going to get the rank as uh, top rank you can start applying right now or you can wait till result because you have the title 23rd of march that is the last date okay and last date for the receipt of printed version of sponsored and erp candidates is up to 31st of march okay now coming to the very important point what are your dates for written or interview okay now for some of the departments like aerospace or civil you don't have to go for any written or interview your criteria was only 100 percent gate score as we mentioned in the previous slides okay but for the students from electronics or electrical okay yes definitely definitely you have to uh, in computer science as well you have to go for written or interview as well as written plus interview for the computational and data science branch okay so what are the important dates if i talk about the mtech program okay whether it is aptitude test or interview that is going to be held in the window of 17th to 21st of april okay or if you are willing to apply for the msc programs yes it is going to be from 20 again the same date 17 to 21st of april then there are separate dates for the sponsored candidates so if you are sponsored from isro it is 8th may if you are from defense or drdo 9th or 10th may etc that you can go through into this so these are the important dates you need to highlight first of all you have to fill up the form by 23rd of march and then if you are into one of the branch where interview or written is going to be held details i have uploaded earlier also you can just start preparing for your respective written or interview and as i told you earlier also i'll be bringing a separate video on the interview guidance program especially for mtech psu different hai upsc different especially for mtech we'll design one uh, guidance video for the students okay so so that that can help you be it uh, iisc bangalore or iit bombay anywhere uh, that video is going to help you okay to prepare for interview so guys dates are uh, still you have around one and a half months uh, 17th april to 21st april is the dates start preparing accordingly and uh, thank you for watching this video i hope this video has given you sufficient and enough information regarding this year pg uh, admission into iisc bangalore uh, subscribe the baiju's exam prep youtube channel the same channel where you're watching this video in case if you're still not subscribed so that you get all such updates you get the gate 2024 uh, concepts you get the bark practice sessions and all the things you know even after result we are going to come up live to give you sessions rank by rank counseling ki up to 100 rank what you can get up to 200 rank what you can expect up to 500 rank what you can expect etc 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 okay this is rakesh talraja signing off if you have any more queries regarding iasc you can send me a message on telegram or you can comment on the comment box of the same video i'll be replying there yes any queries regarding iasc do feel free to ask me Guys, bye-bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care of yourself.